differential calculus? Can we deduce equation of a line through differential calculus? Calculus is integral and calculus is differential. Two calculus. So differential calculus is nothing but rate of change. Integral calculus is nothing but addition. Inverse of rate of change is summation. So if we need to calculate summation through area, through area, then it is integral calculus. If we need to calculate the rate of change, then it is differential calculus. So can so for linear equation. Linear equation means if there is an independent variable x, then there is a dependent variable, then there is a dependent variable fx. A function on x is dependent variable. So if there is an independent variable x, then there is an independent there is an independent variable x, then there is a dependent variable fx. We consider fx being orthogonal to x. So this is the most crucial. If fx is orthogonal to x, then if x direction is i, then we consider fx direction as j. If x direction is x axis, then fx direction is y axis, z axis, whatever. It is orthogonal to x. So we can say that fx is y, y equal to fx, y equal to fx. So if fx being independent variable, x, x being independent variable, fx, the function on x is dependent on x and function of on x that is orthogonal to x is nothing but we can consider as y. So y equal to fx. So y is dependent upon x. Now there are two things, x and y x and y two variables though they can lie on a plane i consider x y plane now for a linear equation linear equation where y equal to or fx equal to x to the power one okay line plane term straight line so can i deduce equation of a straight line through differential calculus okay now suppose i have two points i have two points one point is zero zero another point is two three a line passing from zero zero and two three differentiation is nothing but rate of change so dy by dx Per unit of change in x brings how many unit of change in y at any point on the line. Since it is a linear equation, it would be same at every place in the line. Line is a straight line. dy by dx per unit of change in x, how much per how much unit of change it brings in y? unit can be very small big water so if line is curved or it is non-linear then we consider it as very very infinite small, small the unit in that case we consider if unit is very small so maybe one micrometer then how many micro if one micrometer x changes then how many micrometer y changes at that point then that equation is considerable, considered as differential, uh, differential equation, a equation which is differential, which can be differentiated at that point. So these are the terminals. Now I have a linear, I have a line that passes through 0, 0 and 2, 3. What is the equation of the line? That is the question. Now the change in x is 2, which brings change in y as 3, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 2, 3. A line is there like this. 
then per unit change in x brings per brings some unit of change in y that is 3 if 2 unit x changes then 3 unit in y changes so per unit change in x brings 3 by 2 unit change in y so 3 by 2 is the uh, change in y so dy by dx equal to 3 by 2 per unit change in x 2 brings 3 unit change in y 3 by 2 is the dy by dx if 3 by 2 is the dy by dx can I say y equal to 3 by 2x because that is the differentiation so differentiation is nothing but if it is a linear x to the power 1 then dy by dx means x to the power 1 so x would go so that comes as 3 by 2 so if I do per unit change uh, that becomes dy by dx and that is the equation of line so we calculated equation of the line as y equal to 3 by 2x this is through differentiation the back to top bottom to up we calculated the equation of the line this is the way we can so now y equal to 3 by 2x now if this is the line then line would intercept somewhere so this is the x is x and y so line is passing through origin now but this is a line line we can consider as a direction vector but line can anywhere if dy by dx is same means slope is same gradient is same but line we can shift if i shift on left side it would cut somewhere on the x axis and it would cut somewhere on the y axis so if this is y this is x this is origin line is passing like this through origin if i shift the line left it would cut y axis as x axis if I shift line to the right, it would cut x x. Slope is same. So if I go through slope fundamentals dy by dx, then we have not considered the cuts, where the cut would be on x axis and y axis. Suppose that there is cut on x axis, that is x zero, and there is a cut on y axis, that is y zero. then how we can find the equation so now can i say y equal to mx means y minus 0 equal to mx minus 0 right so y minus 0 equal to m m is the slope dy by dx what we have calculated y minus 0 equal to dy by dx that is slope into braces x minus 0 if that is true, then x minus 0, it intersects x axis at 0. y minus 0 equal to dy by dx braces x minus 0 means y is intercepted, intersected at 0. x is intersected at 0 means line passes through origin. If line passes through y0 or I say beta, y minus beta equal to dy by dx x minus alpha if it is like this so if this is the line if line i shift right and it crosses the x axis at alpha then then earlier y was 0 when x was 0 now y is 0 when x is alpha if that is the case then x become x minus alpha because if x become alpha y is 0 so y equal to dy by dx x minus alpha if y we shift right x line we shift right and it intercept x axis at alpha line i shifted towards right on x axis now line this is the line i am shifting towards y x okay so if that is the case now we went y 
y minus beta equal to dy by dx x minus alpha. So if I am shifting the line toward y axis then if y is beta at that moment x is 0. Earlier y is 0 then x is 0. Now y sh line shifted up to beta and when y is beta then it is 0 x is 0. If that is the case, if y is not, if y is a, a 0, then x has some value. So, y minus beta equal to dy by dx, x minus alpha. Now, that is the equation of line. y equal to beta plus dy by dx, x minus alpha. Where Alpha is intercept on x axis and beta is intercept on y axis. Now, we had line that passes from through origin and to comma 3. So, that is the, now I consider that line is passing to 0. On x axis, to 0. Line is passing on x axis at to 0. If that is the case, then x is 2 and y is 0. y minus beta means y minus 0 equal to m x minus 2. So y equal to m or dy by dx x minus 2. y equal to 3 y 2 x minus 2. That is the equation. Suppose line on top line will be shifted up from the origin and it is passing y at 3 then at that moment x is 0 y minus 3 equal to 3 by 2 x minus 0 so y minus 3 equal to 3 by 2 x y equal to 3 plus 3 by 2 x okay so this is the uh, pretty uh, nice concept if we want to deduce the equation of a line through differential. Okay, so for linear equation, if I know dy by dx and any point I know, then I can fit into y minus beta equal to dy by dx x minus alpha. This is 1D, I mean in one plane, in XY plane. What about 3D surfaces? So, we talked about uh, a line. Okay, so we talked about line. Can we deduce the equation of a line through, through differential calculus? Can we deduce an uh, equation of a surface through differential calculus? Now, I have a volume. Earlier, I had x, y plane. Now, we have x, z and y, z plane, 3D damage. Now, I have two independent values, x and y. This is a multivariate, multivariable condition. Now, I have two independent variables, x and y. If there are two independent variables, then there is a dependent variable that is f, x, y. So, if I have a plane, and one is x and one is y, then dependent variable upon fx y, x y, that is fx y should be orthogonal. So that is, we say it is a z. So I can say z equal to fx y. z equal to function on x and y two independent variables. Okay. Now it is a kind of uh, surface. Okay, so this is a surface. Now, if I consider this as x, y plane, okay, then if it is like this, then it is tilted along x axis. It is tilted along y axis also. So, from negative or if I say like this, then as x grows positive, the tilt, okay, 
along x axis means f, x, then it is growing the x value grows as we go along x axis but y axis decreases y value decreases if we going to go along y axis so not necessarily if i go for a linear equation when we see a three dimension then it is not necessary that if we uh, get something increase in x direction it would increase in y direction both are independent variables so along x axis uh, our plane is uh, uh, going up and along y axis the plane is going down now what would be the equation of plane so if it was uh, on one plane then equation was y minus y y minus beta equal to dy by dx x minus alpha now we have z equal to fxy so can i say z minus gamma equal to dz by dy y minus beta plus dz by dx x minus alpha same thing y minus beta equal to dy by dx x minus alpha then z minus gamma equal to dz by dx x minus alpha plus dz by dy y minus beta the, mo the most crucial point here is how i calculate is dz by dx and dz by dy for two independent variables x and y if x and y are orthogonal to each other then we will calculate dz by dx variation in z how many units z vary if x vary if x vary some unit with respect to that much unit variation in x how much z vary dz by dy if y varies some unit with respect to some unit variation in y how much z vary so if it is xy plane so if x and y are on xy plane then z is the height then if something varies in x along x axis then because of that variation how much height varies if something varies on y direction then with the variation in y direction how much height vary dz by dy dz by dx so that is differential calculation so how z vary earlier we calculated dy by dx if there is a variation in x then how much y would vary but now if i calculate dy by dz by dx we have to make sure that it happens on x axis or parallel to x axis means y should be constant if i calculate dz by dy it must happen on y axis or parallel to y axis means x should be constant okay now when we are calculating dz by dx now if i know that plane passes through two points then we have to make sure that y x y z is one point x y z is another point then y component in both the points should be constant if that is the case then change in x how much change in y z comes through so if so for every unit of change in x how many unit of change happens in z if i need to calculate dz by dy then i'll pick two points on the plane where x is constant zero very nice otherwise it should be constant then per unit variation in y how many unit of variation it brings in z that is dz by dy if that is the case then now i have to know a point through which plane passes and the point is alpha beta and gamma if that is true then z minus gamma 
equal to dz by dx x minus alpha plus dz by dy y minus beta. Solve it and you get the equation of a plane. Aeroplane. <laughs> okay, that also flies in 3D. This is equation of a plane. We are deducing equation of a plane where two independent variable are on a, on a plane and dependent variable is orthogonal to each of them that we came through that it should be zx. Oh, I mean I told about the linear equation in xy plane line, linear line means straight line, linear equation in xyz that is linear plane. What about 4D? We talked about 2D, 3D. What about 4D? Where we have f function f that is dependent upon three independent variables x, y and z. We cannot uh, kind of draw it because x, y, z now all three become independent variables. The dependent variable upon them would be something that we can imagine. If that is the case, then what we are trying to reduce the formula that is a that is 3D like Q sphere, okay, or a parallel uh, paraboloid or something like that, cone, cone, parallelogram. If that is the scenario, then f x y f function of x y z then if it is a linear suppose then how how we can deduce a formula through differential calculus think about it.